espresso and wine in your burger? These are just a few special ingredients that make these Seahawk burgers stand out. To begin, place a large skillet over medium-high heat and add two teaspoons of olive oil. Then add one sliced walla walla or other variety of sweet onion and eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. We're using a wild mushroom blend of cremini, oyster, and shiitake. Cook the vegetables until the onions begin to soften, about five minutes. Then season to taste with ground black pepper and salt. Continue to cook until the vegetables brown, another five minutes. Now pour a half cup of red wine. We're using a Washington Merlot to keep this Seahawk burger true to its Pacific Northwest origins. Deglaze the pan by scraping the bottom with a wooden spoon. Then cook until the wine evaporates about two minutes more and remove from heat. Next, add four six ounce grass fed beef patties to a lightly greased griddle pan or outdoor grill preheated to medium-high. Cook the patties in batches if necessary to your preferred doneness. To make the Seattle-centric aioli, combine a half cup of mayonnaise, a half teaspoon of sriracha chili sauce, and a half shot of Starbucks espresso in a small bowl. Add more sriracha if you're a fan of spicy. To assemble the Seahawk burger, spread four whole grain wheat buns with some of the Seattle aioli on both sides. Then place a beef patty on the bottom bun and top with a slice of Beecher's Just Jack cheese. Next, add the cooked onions and mushrooms and a handful of arugula. Looking for a beverage to go along with the Seahawk burger? We recommend a glass of red wine or a pint of microbrew. Cheers!